This standoff over a suitable marketplace for Belmopan's vegetable and fruit vendors began early this morning before sunrise. A group of vendors who had been occupying the National Agriculture and Trade Show grounds was prepared to begin selling at a new location which they say is more favorable to business and more easily accessible to customers. They already had their stalls set up on the private property of the developer David Zabane, a property that is being proposed as the new market site. But before the vendors could begin their final preparations to welcome early customers, police were already there this morning to greet them with a cease and desist order. The police were acting on behalf of the Belmapan City Council, which insists that because Zabane hasn't gotten the appropriate trade license to turn his property into a market, it is illegal for them to conduct business there. You guys are leaving? Yeah. You're packing up and going? Yeah. Why? Because I'm saying if we stay there, we'll charge we. That's what they said? Yes, that's what I said. Um, I don't know how to call them policemen and say that if we stay there, we'll charge we. They'll kick we out. Yeah. I went in the set they up. They will take out we, we license to sell. Okay. So I, they just come tell we. So where are we going? We're probably going to go back out the um, no, I, showgrounds. No. no. I have all of my money. We want to go back there, but we have to go back there because we need to at least for make for sell for rice or something. Okay. Especially now this a crisis where we there. As the morning progressed, the vendors began to organize themselves into an effort to peacefully but adamantly resist the orders of the police. Employment is a right. That's the only opportunity we, the poor people, have. Hustle with a few onions and tomatoes. We want a private market for the poor. This is a call to the mayor. Please authorize a license to this place because knowing we have land here, it is a sin to have us over there where there's no business. This is not about city council. This is not about anybody else. This is about all those people that you see out here who are trying to earn an honest living who are trying to ensure that they can get food for their children, who can get um, send their children to school. This is about hardworking people who, um, at the end of the day, are asking nothing else but permission to go and work. I don't see what is the issue. I don't see why uh, City Council is taking this hard stance on, on these people. People are in survival mode, and the vendors are in survival mode. And they're not out here because they want to give trouble. I believe that it is a genuine concern. Um, they need to sell their produce and we need to eat. We need to buy. But the cops were obliged to do their jobs and uphold the law. That meant that they had to employ all kinds of diplomacy to convince these frustrated vendors to voluntarily leave the unauthorized marketplace. I do not want this thing to get out of hand. We could discuss it. I have been discussing with Mr. Mr. Zabane and Mr. Logan, who have an out here. I have been discussing with them. We could do what we are supposed to do. First of all, standing out here like this is a form of protest and it is illegal. You have a right as a believer to protest, but you need to apply. David Zabane, the developer of the property, says that he will attempt to get the license so that if the vendors still want to return to his family's property, they won't be breaking any laws. Vendors at this time? Well, um, the vendors, it's up to them what they want to do. I, you know, I told them, you know, I, I don't want them to break the law, but at the same time, I can't force anybody to do or not do what they want. You know, I didn't force anybody, anyone to come out here. They all came on their free will. I'm going to do what I need to do to protect myself and not break any laws out here. So until we could get that sorted out, I, I'm hoping that the councillors, the decision makers in Belmopan can see the, the, the you know, the, these vendors are crying for help. So I hope that you, you can at least appeal to them a little bit and let's get this process going. Reporting for 7 News, Daniel Ortiz.